the devil used us and we're doing devil work you got caught being bullied by the bible teacher do you really say you're gonna go to hell if you don't do this are you stupid god sees all things and he sure saw that hello i have a fun story today and it's something that i've been thinking about for the past few days and i was kind of like like what the heck you ever have stuff that happened in your life and you're like is that real did that really just happen and this is one of those times um now it's funny looking back on it but i remember at the time i was like kind of scared and was like oh my god like i really messed up but as we go through the story you'll know that i am the victim in this situation i don't want to talk too much we're just gonna get into it so actually a little background so i went to a school from that was k through eight and when i was in like after sixth grade that school like shut down it was like dead so um, me and my sister moved to this other school and I went to private school all my life. So um, most private schools are Christian based around me. So this school was a Christian school and um, it was a K through 12. And so I was starting seventh grade. I'm Muslim. So we had like Bible class and it was very Christian based and chapel and all that stuff, which was completely fine. I actually kind of enjoyed learning and stuff like that. Like I have a really good grasp of christianity based on my year there um but some bull did happen and um we're gonna talk about it today something about this school is that they were very close-minded like they were back to school and if you're a catholic they would be like you're going to hell that type of stuff so my muslim identity was kept a secret for my own protection <laughs> And my own sanity. I was new at the school. I didn't want anyone to know I was Muslim. For the most part, it worked. Like, no one really knew. I kept it a secret. I was an international super spy. When I was in seventh grade, I took advanced math. So I was taking math with the ninth graders. And while I was there, like, there was this one girl. Her name, we're gonna call her Ashley. She was very popular. Like, she was in ninth grade. She was friends with the seventh, eighth graders. She was friends with the seniors in high school. Like, because it was a K through 12. So she was really cool with literally everyone and she was a really nice person so i would hang out with her during math class and um we would talk tea like she would tell me things like going on in her life and like she was really cool so we became like friends um from math class but all my other classes was like i had my seventh grade class except for math yeah like i said ashley she was cool with everyone even the teachers Keep that in mind, all right? So one day she we were in math class and she was telling me some stuff that happened with her family, I think. I wish I could remember what it was, but she told me something. It was very, very specific. It wasn't something that like, you know, happens every day to anybody. I've never heard this thing happen to anybody except her. I literally can't remember what it was. I think after this experience, I suppressed it. Um, but she told me something very specific and I was like oh wow interesting the next day in bible class my bible teacher we're gonna call her miss gaslighter because she literally tried my life we we're in bible class and she was telling us stuff and then she mentioned the story that Ashley told me the day before and like I said it was very specific you don't just have everyone going through this thing every day and I remember being like hmm interesting something that i also want to add is that when she was telling the story to the bible class um she said it in a way where she was trying to make like a biblical christian connection but in a very judgmental way that was kind of very shady and so i that's what kind of sparked me to be like wow she really just did that and yeah so the next time I saw Ashley, I was like, hey, I have to tell you something about what Miss Gaslighter said. And she was like, oh, she told that story I told you the other day. And I was like, oh, yeah. Like, how'd you know? And she said someone already told her. And so I was like, okay, like, I can confirm. Like, yes, she said it. And then I just went about my day. And then I remember the next day I was in lunch and Miss um, Gaslighter looks at me and she does this didn't even say a word she just does that and i pack my stuff my lunch i didn't even like i don't even know if i started it um and then i start following her and instead of going to miss 
gaslighter's classroom uh we ended up going to another classroom and we picked up this other girl so this other girl we'll call her veronica she's in my grade i'm not friends with her we don't talk like she's just veronica okay and i was like what the heck what does veronica have to do with this because i was already thinking like okay i guess i'm in trouble for telling the truth so she gets veronica from the classroom and then we go to miss gaslighter's class and then she sits us down and she says what did you guys say to Ashley? At this point, I don't say anything. I literally don't say anything. I'm My anxiety's through the roof. I'm already scared. But then Veronica really did the most of the talking. And Veronica was saying how that she just told Ashley that the story Miss Gaslighter said at Bible class was very familiar to the one Ashley said. And Miss Gaslighter was like, well, it wasn't. I wasn't even talking about Ashley. I was talking about a whole different story. And now you just ruined my relationship with Ashley. Her, She's crying. Her parents are, are calling me. And like, she was like making this like a huge deal. And she was saying like, Ashley's not even talking to me anymore. And I'm like, first of all, you got caught. You're literally mad that <laughs> you got caught. And you're blaming us for your bull. And, like, I remember at the time, like, at the time I was, like, actually starting to feel bad. I was like, oh, wow, like, she really wasn't talking about her. But then, like, later, Ashley said that she told Miss Gaslighter and that that was her story. Like, and and the whole thing that Miss Gaslighter was saying, like, she's not talking to her anymore. Her parents are calling her. Like, Ashley said that that's not true. Like, Miss Gaslighter literally just made that up to make us feel more guilty or whatever. And so she um, says that she tells us that the devil was using us. The devil was using us to get through, to hit, like get, get his work done. We we're literal puppets of the devil and the devil used us and we're doing devil work. Like literally that's what she said. And I remember us just sitting there and being like, sorry. <laughs> like... <laughs> what the heck and it's just funny to me because literally me and veronica aren't friends but here we are in the same class getting accused of the same thing and like that should say something literally we're not friends at all but we both are friends with ashley and then we both came to the same conclusion that miss freaking gaslighter was talking about ashley so that's what, how you know, like, there's literally no way that this thing could, like I said, it was so specific. There's no way that this thing could have been anyone else. And, like, the timeline, literally the same day she told me, she told Miss Gaslighter and she told Veronica all on the same day, that thing. And then the next day, Miss Gaslighter says it in Bible class. Like, are you stupid? That happened. And then I remember, like, I went out through the rest of my day. I didn't even tell my mom. I was like kind of scared because I guess maybe because she used the word devil. And I was just kind of like, what are you going to do to me? Like I said before, this school was very like intense. Like they were very not, not this, all the students, but as a whole, they were not very welcoming to other religions, other sects of Christianity. Miss gaslighter was literally the type of person where after we had like our chapel because i think it was like friday or wednesdays or something we would have chapel and then i remember there was certain times where we were like stand close your eyes everyone close your eyes and then stand up if you haven't accepted christ as your savior yet and then like like i said i was an international super, super spy i literally pretended the whole time i accepted christ as my savior so like, I remember them saying, like, if you're still standing, you know, if you haven't accepted Christ as your savior, make your way towards the back. And then Miss Gaslighter would be yelling at them and being like, why haven't you accepted Christ as your savior? Do you realize that you're going to go to hell if you don't do this? What is the reason? Like, she would be in these people's faces about why they haven't accepted Jesus as their savior. So after witnessing all that, I was already worried, like, what the heck are you going to do to me? Like, now that you think I'm doing devil's work. Um... So I didn't tell anybody until like a, a lot later afterwards. Um, and then I remember Bible was first period. I walk, I like everyone like walks in at the same time when she like lets the door, opens the door. And I remember like trying to get into Bible class with the rest of the herd. And she was like, and I was like, oh my God. Like first of all, she's so rude. Like first with the, and not telling me anything. And then being like, I can't go into Bible class. I'm like, excuse me, I'm here to learn. 
but she told me I couldn't she she literally said not to come into the bible class and at this point Veronica's not even there yet and like I just am sitting outside like a loser while bible class is going on and she won't let me in the classroom Veronica's a little late so she comes and she's like what's going on I was like we can't go inside and she's like why not I'm like because of what happened yesterday and after like a good five minutes Miss Gaslighter opens the door and we come in and then Bible class resumes and I remember asking my friend who was in the class like what did she say apparently she was telling the whole class like to not I guess talk about things you know nothing about and like that's devil work and you know she was just trying to like say things vaguely but obviously it was I felt targeted because I couldn't even go in the freaking classroom and then I remember like we did Bible stuff and I went in to turn in an assignment and then like she saw in my face I was like distraught because I'm being bullied by the Bible teacher and then she's like what's wrong and I'm like nothing and she's like you look stressed or something and I'm like are you kidding me like literally this lady's oh my god like talking about this out loud makes me feel like wow I can't believe that like that was real life but I guess it was um I got bullied by a bible teacher <clears throat> and then life went on like literally nothing else came about from it um after that situation I feel like I should have I probably should have said something I don't know there's something uncomfortable about what happened that I feel like should not have happened she literally did all of that because she got caught and I feel like she was acting hella immature I mean I don't want to put age into this or anything but I know she was like 26 28 I think she was like 28 almost 30 I know she wasn't quite 30 yet but I don't know if she if age had something to do with it even though like I'm 22 and I would never do that but that was messed up literally like all that for what so yeah just just to summarize Ashley told me and Veronica the same story. Me and Veronica are not friends. We were in the same Bible class. The same story got told in Bible class. We both went back and told Ashley at two separate times what had happened. Ashley confirms that she told Miss Gaslighter that story. One plus one is two. We tell her that happened and then we get in trouble for it and then like, and it's the fact that she literally was trying to say that, like, Ashley's parents are calling her. Ashley won't talk to me. Like, it seems like a high school drama situation going on with the Bible teacher. And I'm like, girl, like, chill out. Like, you're acting like a little kid right now. Like, literally, you, what the heck did you think was going to happen? Like, and it was kind of stupid on her part because, like I said, uh, Ashley's friends with everyone. So, what made Miss Gaslighter not think? that other girls in that class would know the story like she and ashley aren't besties like close as she thought eventually ashley ended up not really liking miss gaslighter anymore um for good reason that was a really weird situation and miss gaslighter if you're watching this right now i would like a formal apology because you were doing devil's work and not me and god sees all things and he sure saw that i don't know if i have anything else really to say because that was like one of the most stupid things i've ever had to experience that's the time i got bullied and gaslit by a bible teacher how about you that's it i'm gonna go i hope you guys have a godly day i'll see you in my next video bye